How's it going, guys? Today we're going to talk about sidechaining on the master track. It's a little bit different than sidechaining from one track to another, but it's actually really simple. So let's jump into it. Right, so just like a refresher of how this typically works with individual tracks, we'll have like a synth. Actually, let's do the synth. And we'll have an instrument like a kick drum. And we want that synth to go up and down uh, with each kick hit. So we would use something like recomp. So we're adding in recomp to this track, to the synth track. We'll set its uh, detector input to auxiliary inputs. And then we will drag from the send section of, Reaper, uh, of Reaper's mixer onto the track, uh, or, uh, sorry, onto the plugin. And you can see here that the audio inputs go from one and two to three and four. Uh, and we can set this to unity gain. And now uh, as we play this, we can see that there is gain reduction happening on that synth. And if we play, uh, uh, if we solo that synth, So that's all well and good, but why is it different on the master track? Well, there's no sends for the master track. You can't send from a track to the master track because it's actually already there by default. There's already a send just by having a track in your project to the master track. So how do we get to channels three and four of the master track? That's sort of the trick here. And that's what we're going to talk about. So I'm just going to reset this track to uh, two channels because we're not using that. But we will still use the kick as our sidechain source. So here's the whole project as it, uh, as it is without sidechaining. So very flat, no movement, no groove, no maidens, nothing. Um, we've got, <laughs> let's put on a a compressor. We could use Recomp. There's nothing wrong with using Recomp. I uh, just want to show you a third-party compressor that I like a little bit more. That's called Townhouse from Brainworks. With this one, we just need to set key in, which uh, allows it to use a external source, also known as sidechain, also known as key, key input. For now, we'll, we'll just use those default settings. Okay. The whole mix bus with compression, but it's triggered by the sound of all the instruments together. The kick drum is still the dominant sort of um, trigger into this, but low notes are going to trigger this, and you know everything is kind of working uh, together into the compressor and. That's how compression usually works. On the kick drum track, we're going to add in a plugin that will just expand the number of channels, copying the output of channels one and two to output three and four. Channel mapper down mixer, which was a, a plugin added in Reaper six. So we're just gonna set this to four and that will increase the number of track channels on this track. So on the speed drum track, you can now see that it's channels four. Now, instead of channels three and four coming from the audio source or a, a plugin, we're actually going to remove these pins and move them over to here. So input or sorry, output of the previous plugin comes in on input one. It goes out output one. It also outputs on channel three and the same for number two. So it comes in two, out two, and four. So now... Uh, yeah, we didn't have to make a send because this track has four channels and the master track also has four channels. So we just need to set this to four channels on the master track. Okay, so all I did here was click on the routing button for the master track and move it up to four. Here's how it sounds. Got key in enabled, got the sidechain channels set up, and it should just work now.
So you can see it's a much more aggressive pumping effect by using just the, the, the solo kick drum as a trigger source for the compressor. So it's much more aggressive, and I like that. But we can tweak these settings, of course, to our liking here. And uh, you know, just adjust it for how much sort of pumping effect you want on there. And of course, you can do this with uh, one compressor sort of to get the groove, the vibe, uh, or, or the glue that you want, and then another one to do this uh, pumping bus compression. I just want to show you one more thing here. On the speed drum track, or our kick drum track, I've got this channel mapper down mixer. And if we set this unmapped outputs to zero out, it, it will mute the outputs that are not specifically assigned here. If it's on pass through, uh, channels one and two would, would still just basically go around this plugin. So uh, we had it set up like this with channels one and two going to out one and two and also copied uh, to three and four. Now, if we set this to zero out and turn off one and two, we're effectively turning off the main signal of the uh, of speed drum of our, our kick drum but it's still going to trigger the compression because it's coming out on channels three and four. We're muting the kick drum, but the trig kick drum is still triggering compression on the master track. So this is useful if you have a sidechain sort of trigger source, sometimes called a ghost sidechain, um, where you just have like this pulse that you want to trigger compression on various tracks or the master track and it's completely separate from your drums there's other ways of approaching this channels one two three four thing but i find that this plugin is sort of a, a nice visual way of doing it if we just go to the speed drum plugin it, it could be any plugin you just click on this uh these channels here and um so your output one and two would just be like if you did this it's essentially the same thing four track channels and outputs one and two are also going to three and four. If you used re-EQ on the master track and had this before here, and you made this uh, like this, the pin connector set to um, output left and right of re-EQ goes to channels one and two, three and four. This would actually not work because this would be all of the signals coming into uh, the master track inputs would be copied to channels three and four. So essentially it'd be the same signal going to the key input of the compressor, sidechain input of the compressor, not the actual uh, dedicated sort of sidechain trigger that you set up. So just keep that in mind. I, I think this is probably the best, uh, most useful plugin for this. So that's it. Uh, now you know how to compress with a sidechain input on your master track, make something creative with this, have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.